Hi, my name is Vinod Kumar. Uh, I'm the co-founder and managing director of uh, String Bio. String is a, a leading bio manufacturing company. We ferment natural gas and biogas, and we convert that into different value-added products. Our main HQ is in Bangalore. We also have uh, early presence in the US and Argentina, and we're looking to grow the business more across the globe. We make products today for animal nutrition, we make products in the human nutrition space, and most importantly, in the agricultural space, helping our crops and soil uh, for farmers' welfare. When you really build a company, things change over time. Uh, our vision actually has remained the same over the last decade. Uh, when we came together, me and my co-founder, to, to start String, the idea was how do we, you know, make an impact uh, in this global ecosystem, you know, and build that impact starting from India. Uh, you know, because there's a lot of challenges today in the type of ingredients, type of materials that we have across uh, our, our, you know, everyday life. Uh, our goal was how do we bring in sustainable uh, ingredients that, that actually are there in our everyday life. So over the last few years, you know, the way we have approached our business has fundamentally changed. Uh, and, and rightly so, you know, like any, any uh, company that is looking to find its space in the marketplace, uh, we have had a couple of pivots in the, in the marketplace. But fundamentally, our vision is to build a, a strong, sustainable, uh, you know, environmental friendly company uh, from India, for India and for the globe. Uh, that's been the vision. It's, it's all about having impact, not just on people, but on environment as, as well. Uh, that's actually the driving force of our technology, which is very unique. And, and I can proudly say today that we are probably uh, the world leaders in gas fermentation. Uh, and when I say gas fermentation, just a, a little background on gas fermentation. You know, we have fermentation as a technology since mankind. You know, if you look at bread or wine, uh, there's a lot of fermentation that's happening today in, in food and in chemicals, uh, ethanol, in, 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 you know, that's just been in the limelight in the last few years. Uh, you know, in all these fermentations, you basically use sugars or cellulose. The unique side uh, for us is we actually ferment a gas. So we take a gas and we convert that into a, a solid or a liquid. And that's where uh, you know, our, our, our vision is our, our, from a technology perspective. And the goal is to build a multi-billion dollar business. Uh, we do want to go public over the next five to six years. Uh, we are well on our way. And, and, and while we do that on the economic side, uh, our goal is to actually also make sure that we are impacting everyday lives, uh, you know, whether they are farmers or consumers, you know, the kind of foods we eat or the kinds of foods our animals and pets eat uh, is, is where we are heading towards. Biomanufacturing in India, uh, there's a great opportunity for us. Uh, there's a lot of talent, there's a lot of, uh, you know, capital, there's a lot of intent uh, from the government. Uh, I think in the next couple of years and, and beyond, I think it's about how uh, uh, we as Indians, as an ecosystem, can bring all of this together. Uh, there's a couple of things I think that really helps, uh, you know, accelerate it, uh, like any new technology. And I can give you a, a parallel uh, uh, an, uh, analogies. If you look at the the renewable power in renewable power, when you look at solar, India is the leading country in in, in the world of renewable energy, right? In, in especially in solar, and this has all happened over the last you know 13, 14 years. And that's happened because there were very good incentives laid out where the cost of power uh, has dropped significantly for every kilowatt hour uh, from what it was in 2010 to what it is now in 2025. Uh, I'm hoping, I, you know, personally, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, we as an ecosystem can bring these kind of uh, policy changes. It's not just about having the intent, which is definitely the first step, but what can we do and have actionable uh, you know, uh, opportunities for companies, you know, uh, bio-industrial or bio-manufacturing does not have a PLI scheme. Uh, one of the best things that we could do is can we introduce a PLI scheme? Pharmaceutical has a PLI scheme. Either we can join that or, or bio-industrial, bio-manufacturing can have its own PLI scheme where 
we can incentivize not just in the context of supply but also in the context of demand it would be great if if you know government uh, kind of steps in to trigger the procurement of bio manufactured products uh, whatever they are whether they are in the nutrition space food space materials uh, you know a whole bunch of things that's happening in the bio uh, manufacturing ecosystem globally that would really help uh, accelerate that will bring in more capital into the ecosystem because at the end of the day uh, to to grow any industry you do need to have economic uh, incentives uh, both from government as well as from private it can't be all government i i completely agree and understand it also has to come from private but i think if the government can step in to help accelerate that not just in the supply side of building bio manufacturing capabilities but also in terms of promoting the use of bio manufactured products uh, i think that would go a long way to kind of provide the foundation for bio manufacturing where then private capital can come in and and then you know sky's the limit uh, for for this industry bio manufacturing let's let's talk a minute about what is bio manufacturing right i'll give you uh, an equivalent uh, you know ecosystem today that we all live in uh, pretty much most ingredients that we that we you know see uh, or touch or feel actually comes through chemical synthesis processes right uh, when you look at uh, uh, you know the oil and gas industry upstream in oil and gas industry or the oil industry is actually drilling where you get crude oil and that crude oil goes through a whole bunch of chemical synthesis process to make all kinds of ingredients you know commodity products specialized products that eventually go on to become you know come into our everyday living right this existing supply chain that you see has a very strong carbon footprint which is not good for our environment and in some cases obviously it's reflecting on our health as well bio manufacturing is all about creating an alternate you know value chain here where upstream in bio manufacturing for us uh, the way i look at it is fermentation and what is crude oil in the in the oil and gas sector is biomass for the bio manufacturing and then taking that biomass and converting that into different value added products using biological synthesis process now this is a great opportunity because you know what biology can do is far more wider and deeper than what chemistry can do for us in fact there is, there is one of the things that we we say is biology actually enables more chemistry than chemistry does right so uh, it's a very powerful uh, you know uh, way for us to look at how we we live in the in, a, in, in this world and how we uh, you know we we go about our everyday lives um, so there is a lot happening on bio manufacturing across the globe there is you know the world is you know and in it it's actually though bio manufacturing has been around for a while there is there is a lot more importance now given the uh, uh, technology changes you know people have been looking at bio manufacturing for the last 50 60 years uh, but due to lack of economics you know uh, one of the most important things is we all know is is the cost of a particular product or a service no matter how sustainable it is how good it is for you unless it's economically viable it does not make any sense in fact Uh, internally at string we have a very bold statement of making sustainability market relevant right which is you bring in these sustainable products leveraging biology uh, but are they relevant to the marketplace in the in the, the sense of economics right otherwise your customer is not willing to pay uh, so there is you know the world today uh, globally is looking at bio manufacturing there's a lot of policies that uh, uh, government supporting together us actually uh you know obviously over the last 60 to 80 years us had moved most of their manufacturing out uh, keeping design uh within the country and 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 moving whether it was in china india mexico or other southeast asian countries but in bio manufacturing us is actually looking to bring back uh, uh the policy uh manufacturing into the country they've actually announced a 2 billion dollar incentive for bio manufacturing very similarly the indian ecosystem indian government Uh, is also aware along with our internal stakeholders the fact that you know india can be uh, the next bio manufacturing uh, hub of the world uh, we already are in the pharmaceutical space we are actually the the farm you know pretty much every other drug uh, has a touch point uh, from a pharmaceutical perspective in india uh, the vision for uh, the bio manufacturing industry here would be can we make uh, extend that from pharmaceutical to bio industrial and bio manufacturing and can india be the, the manufacturing hub for the world uh, the government has taken some bold steps uh, this past year 
and in 2025 uh, we are looking forward to starting that implementation and, and taking that forward uh, for India and for the globe from here.